Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the July uh, vidcast for Tactical Hat Keto Alliance. I'm Pastor Chuck Edwards. And Grandmaster Barry Rodmaker. Well, today we're going to cover a very simple, very short subject. Uh, Grandmaster, let me share something with you. When I'm teaching, I believe that perhaps one of the simplest, most effective moves that uh, we have in our arsenal is the S-lock. But it is sometimes as simple as one of the most difficult for a student to master. It seems like once they get it, it's good, but it takes a hard time. Could you explain why that might be? Well, the S-lock, not only being one of the simpler locks, it's one of the most painful locks there are. And the reason that is is because you're, you're, you're uh, going this direction and this direction at the same time. So you're actually compressing the wrist this way and this way at the same time. And here in a few minutes, we'll go upstairs, and I'm going to show some applications of the S-lock uh, from different grabs and, and, and pulls and pushes and all that. And then we'll come back down and we'll talk about why that S-lock is so effective. Well, could you just tell me this then? Uh, it is effective, and I know there are many variations. What would be a situation, an ideal situation, where someone might have to use that? Well, definitely from any kind of grab. Uh, because the, your uh, opponent or the assailant already has, they have a hold of you, so the wrist is already locked out, so to speak. So when we apply the S-lock, it really uh, gives off a lot of pain because they're already locking themselves out. You're just applying, you're just adding to their aggression. Well, it's, it's that principle, you have that pain compliance principle. And again, as I've seen, you can adjust it to the amount of aggression you're facing. Right. I think that's wonderful. Well, we're gonna give you a sample of the S-lock now. Once again, what makes the S-lock so painful and makes it uh, so usable in the street is because of the two planes of motion. When the wrist is locked out this direction and this direction at the same time, you have an S-lock. So if your opponent can grab same side wrist grab, distraction, S-lock, cross wrist grab, distraction, S-lock, lapel grab, distraction, S-lock, shoulder, S-lock. The S-lock works multiple to the grabs and it's very effective because it inflicts a lot of pain on your opponent. And I think what's uh, so awesome about this move is its simplicity. No one sees it coming, very simple to place on an individual, very effective. Thank you. Okay, um, I just want to let you know that uh, the uh, S-lock is a fantastic move. As long as you are giving it to someone and not receiving it, it's a great move. Again, Grandmaster, could you explain the, the biomechanic principles of this move? Well, what makes the lock so effective and, and painful is that you are going on two planes of, of, of motion. You're locking the wrist out this way and this way at the same time. And like, to be very effective in our Christian walk, it's the same thing. You have to have the, the two planes, or the two uh, planes of motion, instead of being planes of motion, they're the principle of Bible reading, you know, really taking the Word of God and putting it in your heart, and fervent prayer. When you add those two elements, your Christian walk, your faith, everything that you do is more effective and has more power and boldness. Just like the S-lock. It would hurt if you only locked the wrist out with one plane, but when you apply both, it becomes very effective. Indeed, very powerful move. And I knew you'd have a way of uh, somehow uh, uh, giving us an analogy between Scripture and, uh, and one of the moves. But uh, I noticed in Acts chapter 4, the same thing applied to the early church. They prayed for boldness and power, and then they went out and they, they did. That God's Holy Spirit gave them that power, and they proclaimed the word of God with boldness. Obviously, they had to do two things. Number one, they had to pray. Number two, they had to know the word of God in order to proclaim it. And uh, so, indeed, working on both those planes, we as Christians can be a lot more powerful, a lot more effective. Definitely. Definitely. Now, is there anything you want to share uh, with the uh, audience today? Well, you know... October 22nd, 23rd, 24th, we are having the first annual and the first ever THA training conference. It's going to be like none other. Uh, you know, we're going to go everything from white to black in depth. We're going to have training courses on how to bring more students into your school or program. We're also going to offer classes on uh, outreach and evangelism. How, once you get your students in, how to evangelize effectively. And then we're going to finish it off with uh, a banquet. And it's a really good time for members of the THA and non-members to come together in a family atmosphere and, uh, and train in the martial arts. 
Well, that's great. I already have many people that are interested in coming. And uh, if you are interested, we're going to have information at the end of this vidcast. We invite you to come. Well, I want to thank you very much. This is Pastor Chuck and Grandmaster Barry Rodmaker. Have a great day. God bless.